I come too far from where I start. And nobody told me that the road will be easy. And I don't believe he brought me this road to leave. Never said there will be trials. Never said there would be before. Never said that everything will go the way I want to go. But when my back is against the wall and I feel like hope is gone. I just lift my head up to the sky and say, I shall help it to this yard. I just can't keep up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that this road would be easy, and I don't believe he brought me this far to leave. And I don't believe he brought me this far to leave. Do you believe that this morning? And I don't believe he brought me this far to leave. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Glory be to God. We know that this Christian journey is not an easy one. Amen? Amen. Because we cannot react like sinners do. Glory be to God. We cannot speak like sinners do. We cannot live like sinners do. Glory be to God, but indeed, God didn't brought us this far to leave us. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. We, we serve a God that is faithful. Hallelujah. He is faithful until the end. Bless the name of the Lord. He is faithful unto, until the hand amen brother kevin i want you to sing this one this one i have decided to follow jesus let me see the hands of those who are this you decided to follow jesus glory be to god as we reflect on god today as we reflect hallelujah coming down to the crucifixion of jesus is betrayal Leading up to his crucifixion. Glory be to God. We decided to follow him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me see the hands of those who decided to follow Jesus. All the way. Hallelujah. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. No one go with me, still I will follow. No one go with me. Still I will follow, do not go with me, still I will follow, 
to lift your hands and I want you to repeat this. I will follow Jesus. Come on, do you mean that this morning? Do you mean that this morning? Glory be to God. I will follow Jesus. No turning back. Hallelujah. 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 No turning back. It's going to get rougher and tougher. It's going to get harder. But I decided to follow Jesus. Do I have a witnessing breakthrough this, this morning? Hallelujah. Do I have a church that can witness? Glory be to God. And tell somebody that the world is behind me. And the cross is before me. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. The word of God told us to deny ourselves. And take up the cross. And follow him. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And we know that the cross is not a light one. It comes with some things. It comes with some things. Hallelujah. God, oh, Jesus. And only the fittest and the fittest will survive it. Can I get a amen in breakthrough quote more this morning? Hallelujah. I said the world behind me and the cross before me. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Pastor, oh, you do it. Jesus did it for us. So I got to do it too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we serve a God of humility. And while I was meditating upon glory be to God, the journey of Christ into his into his, his betrayal and his crucifixion and his burial. I understand the power of humility. Glory be to God. I understand, hallelujah, the power of love. Come on, somebody. I understand, glory be to God, that the word of God must be fulfilled. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. 
glory be to God. Many didn't arrive to see Jesus. But because they heard, hallelujah, that he raised Lazarus from the dead, they wanted to see Lazarus. But can I tell the church today, I don't know who you came here to see, but I want you to come here, there, come here, hallelujah, Jesus, to see the great I am that I am. I want you to turn your eyes on Jesus today. Shall we praise the Lord? Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Shall we lift up the name of Jesus? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I trust that you are here for the right reason. Hallelujah. And if you are here for the wrong reason, may the Holy Ghost take care of you. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, look over to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I scan me, I scan you in a neighbor. Neighbor, I am scanning you. Are you here for the right reason? Come on, turn to somebody else. We are in church. Lord Jesus. Oh God, ah, God Almighty. I want you to turn to somebody, somebody else and say, Neighbor, you are beside me. And I am scanning you in the spirit. Are you here for the right reason? Lord Jesus, and tell me if your neighbor answer you. Lord God, Lord God. I said, tell me if your neighbor answer you. Glory be to God because we are here to lift up Jesus. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We are here to lift up Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. I want you to get yourself in tune. Glory be to God. Missionary Nordic Brown will be coming with the prior of thanksgiving. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Early in the morning, our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty. God in three person, blessed, holy. Trinity. Put your hands together for her missionary as she comes with the prior of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And I need everybody to pray. We have something to give God thanks for. Hallelujah. Come on, let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Almighty oh, God, the word of God said we should give him thanks because he is good and his love endures forever. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, this morning, we just want to give you thanks, Lord. We just want to give you honor, and we just want to give you glory and praise. Oh, mighty God, when we remember that you sent your only begotten son to be crucified on the cross at Calvary, to shed his blood for us, mighty God. As the woman of God says, you could have sent him as the king that he is, but you sent him in humility, mighty God, for us, mighty God, to pay the price for our sin so that we can have salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, this morning, I just want to thank you for the gift of life. I could be somewhere else. I could be dead, mighty God. But we are standing here, and where we are standing, mighty God, it's holy. Father, we want to thank you for giving us a place, an assembly to worship, mighty God. We want to thank you, mighty God, for the people that you have given us, the spiritual people, the men and women of God, who have been leading us closer to you, mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit would have built the covenant with you, mighty God. The Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The Holy Spirit that has been leading and guiding us, mighty God. The Holy Spirit that encourages us each and every day, especially when we feel like giving up. 
Oh Lord God Almighty, when we think of the sacrifice that has been made by you, by your son, when we remember, mighty God, what you have done and we would not have done it, but you have not left us, you have not forsaken us, you are always with us, mighty God, we want to thank you, Lord God Almighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for the provisions which you have made for us daily. Some are big things, some are small things, but because we are so consumed by everything, our daily lives, we forget. Father, we give you thanks today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for keeping your covenant with us many of us has fallen mighty god short but because of your grace and your absolute mercy you have forgiven us and kept us close daddy jesus oh mighty god oh mighty god mm. jesus i want to thank you heavenly father mm. for the gift of prayer i want to thank you lord god almighty for the gift of prayer I want to thank you, Lord God Almighty, for giving us the opportunity, Lord God Almighty, for coming before you and having others come to you, Lord God Almighty, on their behalf, on our behalf, on our family's behalf, mighty God. And I want to thank you, Lord God Almighty, for answering those prayers. Mighty God, you are our rock, you are our shield. You have saved us mighty God from untimely death from accidents from incidents you have made the basic provisions of food and clothing for us God which many a persons do not have and so Lord God Almighty we lift you and place you at the highest place hallelujah mighty God Jesus without you we are nothing and so today Lord God Almighty I thank you I place you wherever you deserve to be Lord my God, my comforter, my great physician, mighty God, I tell you thanks. And I give all mercies unto you, Jesus, and tell you thanks. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. soul is at rest oh lord I give. come on lift those hands and tell the lord thanks 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 i give you thanks so all you have done Hallelujah. 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 I know that today is Palm Sunday, so I believe that worship will be easy for me today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that worship will be easy this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. We know that we have a lot of things to give God thanks for this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, we don't have to use palms to worship him this morning. But we can lift our hands this morning and just worship him. Can we just lift our hands? Hallelujah. We give you glory. We Give you glory. Yes, can we just tell him this morning? We give you glory. Oh, no. Can 
Come just say, we give you glory. We give you glory. Yes, we give you glory. Just 
Just say, I'm surrounded. Just all that we're going to say this morning. I'm surrounded. Hey, 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 hey. Just by his fullness, by his grace. I'm surrounded. Yes, Jesus, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, by your fullness, I'm surrounded. Yes, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, I just want to hear the church tell him this morning. I'm surrounded. Come on, just lift your hands and just tell him this morning. I'm surrounded. Yes, by his fullness, by his fullness. I'm surrounded. Hey, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Hey, 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 hey. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Jesus, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, I want to hear the church say. Yes, I'm surrounded. Yes, can we just step into the spirit and just say, yes, by the lifting of our hands. Yes, Jesus, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, by your fullness, Jesus. I'm surrounded. 
Yes, 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 yes. Just by your grace and your mercy. Yes, we lay it all to you this morning, Jesus. Yes, I'm surrounded, yes, by your spirit. Yes, God, we want more of you. Yes, 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 I hear it. I'm surrounded. Yes, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, Jesus. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, I hear the church. I hear the church. Yes, I hear some worshipers. I hear some worshipers. Yes, I Just Hosanna in the highest. Just Hosanna in the highest. Come on, can we just lift our hands in the atmosphere and just say, Yes, come on, just lift your hands and say, Yes, I hear our church getting ready to worship. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, come on, worship till something happens. Come on, sing. I'm surrounded. Yes, I'm surrounded. Yes, we lift you up, Jesus. We lift you up. Yes, you are worthy. You are worthy. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, I want to move, but I hear God moving. I'm surrounded. Yes, come on, just worship me a little bit more. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Yes, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. She's. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. So feel my life. She long. They see it's you, Lord. Glorify your name. Feel my life till all they see it's you, Lord. Glorify your my life till all the 
Just lift your hands. I just want everyone just to lift your hands in the room. Hallelujah. We're going to give up our song of cry to Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We're just going to cry upon the name of Jesus. I know today's Palm Sunday, but we're going to lift our hands. And we're going to lift our voices this morning. And we're just going to cry the name of Jesus. Are you ready to cry the name of Jesus? Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, somebody begin to call Jesus. Come on, just call Jesus. Come on, somebody just call him. Call him by his name. Yes, call Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Call him by his name. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. 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 Come on, call him by his name. Come on, call him by his name. Come on, call him by his name. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Just call him by his name. Jesus. 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 Yes. The resurrection power. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 hey, 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 yes, you are worthy, yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, my healer. Yes, my deliverer. Yes, you are worthy. Come on, just lift your hands and just worship him. Come on, just worship him. Come on, just worship him. Come on, just worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, just worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, come on, just worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, continue to worship the Lord. Continue to lift up the name of Jesus. The presence of the Lord is here with us today. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody give the Lord that special sound. Hallelujah that he deserved today. Glory be to God. Every one of us, we have that sound. Hallelujah. I want you to open up your mouth uh, all over this place. Hallelujah. And echo your voices. Uh, hallelujah. Let hell know. Uh, oh, God Almighty. I said, let hell know. Uh, that is why tough you got to pray. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. I know 2,000 years ago, on a day like this, it was very sad for some people. But can I tell you something? That we are here to rejoice. We are 
are here to rejoice today. We are here to send out some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, I want you to encourage yourself before our secretary come with the welcome announcement that I have a praise. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Come on, encourage yourself. I have a praise. Can we tell our situation that I have a praise? <laughs> Can we tell our circumstances that I have a praise? Just stay me down with a little music. Glory be to God. Last week, Wednesday, I went to get my therapy treatment on my spine. And for some reason, uh, the therapist, she put me right in front of a sign. And the sign says, don't let your circumstances dim your praise. <laughs> Can I tell you that I was in pain because to get a therapy treatment on your spine, it's not something easy. And when they put on the weights on my neck and the thing hung up in the hair, so 30 pounds of weight on my neck. And I look at the sign, Lord Jesus. And when I look at the sign, I shout hallelujah. And the lady said, Miss, are you a Christian? And I said to her, what do you think? And I shout another hallelujah. Ah. That was just a reminder to me. <laughs> that I must not allow the circumstances to dim my praise. I don't know who have a circumstance today. I don't know who find yourself into the lowest of the lowest of the lowest. I don't know who found yourself in the valley. Hallelujah. I don't know who came here this morning sick and helpless. I don't know who came here this morning but you're not feeling so good. But can I tell the church, never you allow your circumstances to dim your prayers. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Ah. Lord Jesus, Lord God. Somebody look for the circumstances, no man. I say circumstances, I got a prayers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what's going on, but listen, uh, I have a prayer. Sometimes we see some people praising God because of the situation. Ah, uh, yeah. But can I tell the church that it's time for us to rise to the occasion and praise God for who he is. Can I tell the church it's time for you to plug in and worship God like never before. Glory be to God. Worship him for who he is. They are talking about you, but worship God. Tell them, what's your business, but worship God. They have anything good to say about you, but worship God. Lord Jesus, you see, in this season, some people are going to know you because you're a worshiper. I said, some people are going to know you because you are a worshiper. When 
when some people don't chat you, they're going to say, but she's a worshiper. When some people don't chat you, they're going to say, but he is a worshiper. Lord Jesus, you don't understand. I wish somebody could understand where I am going today. Lord God Almighty, never you allow anything to dim your worship and your praise for the King of all kings. But look what him got to. Look what Ima got you. Look what she had got you. But she worshiping God. Your worship will announce who you are in this season. Lord Jesus. Oh Jesus. I said your worship will announce who you are in this season. I said your worship will announce who you are in this season. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God, sister Chanel, make your way up. Hallelujah. 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 I tell us that some things won't cramp your prayers, you know, man. The devil knows say when you're down, something something up me in the realms, you know. The devil knows say when you shout, something take place. So the devil want to cramp your spirit, cramp your worship, but let hell know that you are a worshiper. Let El knows that you are what? A wish. Let them say you're mad. You're mad for God. Let them say you're crazy. You're crazy for God. Let them say you're more drunk. You're drunk in the Holy Ghost. Bless you in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together and help me make welcome. Glory be to God, our secretary, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Can we all put our hands up above our head to welcome and acknowledge the Holy Spirit who is the head of our lives. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday. Today is celebrated as Palm Sunday. As such, I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we acknowledge our founder, our prophet, Bishop, Dr. Reverend Mark Stewart, and also in our absence, Reverend Verma Stewart. The host pastor for Portmore Branch, Reverend Theme Dennis, let us acknowledge our shepherd. Also, I'm going to acknowledge, let us acknowledge your prophet Joshua Stewart. Welcome to the Portmore Breakthrough Ministries, man of God. It is a pleasure to have you. Also, two additional persons accompanied Prophet Stuart. And I greet you, woman of God and man of God. I greet you all. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us acknowledge our apostle, Apostle Marshall Taylor, other members of the clergy, persons in their respective positions, congregations, congregants, persons that are online. I greet you in the mighty, mighty, precious name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. It's always a pleasure for us to gather and be on one accord. Amen. Amen. Do we have any first-time visitors in our midst? This is the first time you'd have stepped foot in our sanctuary, whether it be Sunday service, Tuesday service, doesn't matter. This is the first time you are here worshiping with us and fellowshipping with us this afternoon. Just stand so that we can acknowledge you and give you a breakthrough port more. Welcome. I greet you, men of God, women of God, little children. I greet you all and welcome to the Portmore Breakthrough Ministry. And this is a sanctuary where everybody is a somebody. Bless the Lord. 
Hallelujah. And if you do not have a church of your own, please, this is a safe ministry. You are all invited to come apart, to come and worship with us. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Do we have any birthday greetings for this coming week? Wednesday, Sister Erica. Happy birthday when it comes. I pray that the Lord continue to keep you. And for those that might be shy, happy birthday to you. Do we have any anniversary celebration for this coming week? Okay, I see sister, my sister over there. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. I see missionary Tanisha at the back. Happy, happy anniversary to you all. And I pray that the Lord will continue to keep your union. Please take note of the calendar of activities and our worship and service activities. Please be reminded that on second Tuesdays, we have Work the Word and Fan the Flame service. Now, this is a large congregation, and if you were here last week, Tuesday, the Holy Spirit, Reverend Thames and Bishop Stewart and our Apostle Marshall Taylor, the Holy Spirit really moved. So again, whether it be from work um, or school, you're all invited to come out on a second Tuesday for work the worm and fan, work the word and fan the flame service at 6:30. Also, be reminded every third Tuesday we have dig the word Bible study session at 6:30 p.m. Every first Wednesday we have ladies and fellowship meeting at six. Every third Friday youth and young adult ministry meet. Also, every second Saturday, we have mission and outreach ministry and also every fourth Saturday. Now, as it pertains to mission and outreach ministry, again, donation is always welcome, whether it be cash or kind. So you can speak to myself, Reverend Thames Dennis, missionary, Norda Brown, or any other leader if you are interested in partnering with us or donating. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, to note that every second Saturday, we have... Of second Saturday afternoon, we have fellowship of the respective ministry. Now, this is inclusive of the Joshua generation, the men's fellowship, the little children, the women's fellowship, the little babies, Sunday school department. All are invited to come out and be a part of our fellowship. Also, every third Saturday morning at 8 a.m., we have work the word and fan the flame service. And the men's fellowship, they meet every fourth Saturday at 5 also, every fourth Sunday, now today is fourth Sunday, so we do have evening service that starts at 6, and that is work the word and fan the flame service. Now, this will be held by our bishop, and when we have the man of God, our founder, it is always a pleasure for him to feed our spirit. Amen. So please, all are invited to stay back. You can either go home or stay back for service Go home and then come back to church at 6. Or you can stay back and wait until 6 o'clock for evening service. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Also, please be reminded that on March 30 at the Huntsman branch, they'll be having their prior breakfast at 8 a.m. again. The ticket cost is just $2,500. So if you're interested in the prior breakfast for this coming Saturday at 8 a.m., please see myself or Reverend Thames Dennis after church to purchase tickets. Also be reminded that we do have Good Friday service at 8 a.m. in the morning. So we do have church this coming Friday. All are invited. We will be here. Reverend will be here. The leaders will be here. So please come out for Good Friday service at 8 a.m. Also to note that we do have a big convention coming up and that's Easter Monday and that starts at 9.30. No, convention will be held right here in the sanctuary and uh, invite uh, your neighbor, your friend, your co-worker, also the other ministries, Breakthrough Ministries, we, we all gather here this coming Monday. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Also to note, I spoke about this last week, Sunday, that our annual, no, this is Reverend Thames Dennis Brainchild Marriage Conference. The date is set July 24th. No ticket will be on sale shortly, probably about next week or in the next two weeks or so. 
I know that the lineup is going to be riveting. We, our minds will be enhanced. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So all congregation, visitors, members, you're all invited to be, come out and be a part of our annual marriage conference. I do want to say condolences to anyone that might have lost a relative or a loved one that we are not aware of. I pray that the peace of the Lord be with you during your time of bereavement. No. We are all going to repeat the pillars that the Portmore Breakthrough Ministry is built on and just Breakthrough Ministry in general. And our vision statement reads, seek to become an equipping and mobilizing family church that will help to transform our life for Jesus Christ. And our mission statement reads, the ministry has been called into existence by the Lord Jesus Christ to carry out the Great Commission through 10 Crusades, fasting, prior healing and deliverance service, and media facilitators to our communities and the world. We seek to be not just a church, but a family where everybody is a somebody and all humans are called to be one in Christ. Amen. I know these words are the pillar. This is what we, we the ministry was built upon. And as members and even visitors, we will continue to follow same. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Now that concludes the welcome and notices for today and I pray that uh, the Lord will continue to keep us. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Glory be to God. Our scripture reading is taken from St. John chapter 12. And we will be reading from verse 12 through to 16. That's St. John chapter 12. We'll be reading from verse 12 through to 16. And uh, this will be done by... Brother David, St. John, chapter 12, verse 12 to 16. Thank you. Hallelujah. Our scripture verse will be taken from St. John 12, from verse 12, 2 to 16. When we find it, say the word. Hallelujah. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, the king cometh, sitting on the ass's colt. Verse 16, These things understand not the disciples, that the first, but when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. Here, when you read a portion of God's word, we are honored by it, say, Thanks be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. I told you that one of these Sundays, you know. When you come to church dressing so lovely, all the chairs will be packed at the back. We are soldiers, amen? Amen. Glory to God. We are soldiers. We are soldiers. If I did up an embassy, would they? We'd have to stand up for hours. 
all in a sun. Not true. Because we won't get true. Let us all stand in the presence of the Lord. Wonderful love that rescue me. Sunk deep in sin. Guilty and vain as I could be. No hope within. When every ray of light had fade. Oh glorious day. Raising my soul from under out the dead. Love found a way. Love found a way to redeem my soul. Love found a way that could make me whole. Love sent my Lord to the cross of shame. Love found a way. Oh, praise is holy. Amen. At this time, Sister Kadifa Booth will be coming with the prior of intercession. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. As we bow our heads in reverence this afternoon for prayer, let us all pray. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the sovereign king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we feel your presence here this morning. Lord, we feel your anointing. We feel your Holy Spirit in this sanctuary. Abba, Father, as I come before you this afternoon. Lord, I come not of my own. I come, Lord God, as a little lamb. Lord God, humbly before your throne. And this afternoon, as we come in your presence, Lord, we lift up the service into your hands. Lord God, we gave you thanks this morning. We gave you honor, we gave you praise. But this afternoon, Lord, we come, Lord God, asking that your presence, God Almighty, will flow through the sanctuary, will flow, God Almighty, like never before. Indeed, your anointing is here. Indeed, your presence is here. Indeed, God Almighty, we feel your loving arms wrapped around us. And as we are in your sanctuary this afternoon, Holy Spirit, Lord God, you're already in control. You're already, God, on the job this afternoon. And so, Lord God, we present everything, God, that is left to be done into your care. Lord God, I pray even now that your name will be lifted up, that your name will be exalted, that flesh, God Almighty, Mighty will be crucified, that self will be slain, and that your Holy Spirit will take full control this afternoon. Father God, I lift up God Almighty, our Bishop, before you. Lord God Almighty, as the the servant as the shepherd of this house. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus for strength. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus that your anointing will grip him and will hold him like never before. Lord God, we pray God for a fresh release, God Almighty, from your hand. We all ask you, Holy Spirit, that your anointing will be upon him. That your anointing, God, will cause the yoke to be broken. Lord God, that your anointing will cause the fetters to be break, broken in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray even now that you anoint him from the crown of the head, even unto the sole of his feet even now. Holy Spirit, as he come forth to do what you will have called him to do, I pray God Almighty that he will open up himself to you and to follow your leading God Almighty and your direction. Abba Father, I pray even now that you will stir up, Lord God, the gifts that is inside of him. Lord God, cause it him to burst out with fire, with anointing on high. Holy Spirit, have your way in our midst. Lord God, we lift up God, our visitor before you, our Apostle Joshua, our Apostle Stuart. Lord, I lift him up before you. You know him by name. You know him by nature. Father God, whatever the will for you to use him today, let it be done unto your name's glory. Let it be done unto your name's honor. Abba Father God, curfew the sanctuary this afternoon. 
afternoon. Lord God, let your angels be released in the sanctuary. Let your angels, God, stand guard to ward off every plan and every plot of the enemy. Lord God, as we go, God Almighty, into your holies, I pray in the name of Jesus that your anointing, God, will break, Lord God, the heaviness, that your anointing will break, God Almighty, every limitation, that your anointing will break every shackle, will break every chain in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, take full control this afternoon. Take full control, God. Let your word pierce the hearts of your people, Lord, the unbelieving, the unfaithful save and even us who are saved father i pray even now that your word will come forth with power with anointing with clarity in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god remove fear in the name of jesus and let boldness take over this afternoon let your will be done as we partake, God Almighty, of your blood, of your body, Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we will submit ourselves unto you. We will confess our sins, our faults, and our flaws before you this afternoon, that we drink and eat not damnation unto ourselves, but Lord God, that we eat unto ourselves health and wealth and all the good things that you have in store for us. Cover your people this afternoon. Touch your people this afternoon. Lord God, I pray that their spirits will be open for a word, for a move this afternoon. Holy Spirit, just move God Almighty. Every barrier, every limitation, remove it this afternoon. And let your people feel free, God Almighty, to worship. Let them feel free, God Almighty, to just let themselves loose in your presence this afternoon. Have your own sweet divine way. Lord God, as you are leading our moderator, our very own Reverend Thames Dennis, I pray, God Almighty, that you will continue to flow through her, that you will continue, God, to speak through her, God Almighty, to your people. Lord God, I pray even now, God, for a fresh anointing upon her life, even now, Holy Spirit. Lord God, touch her, God. Lord God, touch her, Jesus. Touch her like never before. Lord God, let her to experience a new level in you, a higher level, Lord God, in you this afternoon. Pour out the oil and the wine, God, as we open up ourselves unto you and we turn our vessels up to receive of you. Lord God, have your own sweet divine way as we commit the rest of the service into your hands. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Come on, I want everybody to stand. Everybody. Maybe some people jump so. Lord Jesus. Come on, everybody stand. If you feel weak, tell the Holy Ghost to stand up in your mind. Come on, everybody stand. It's time for the man of God. Praise the name of Jesus. This so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take in at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know. Oh, 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 oh,
on, put your hands together for the Lord today. If you love the Lord, I want you to put your hands together for him today. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. There have been names that I have loved to hear, but never has there been a name so dear. To this heart of mine as the name divine, the precious name, precious name of Jesus divine. Congregation, I want you to put your hands together. Glory be to God and help me make welcome. Bless the name of the Lord, our shepherd. Glory be to God, the one that know the weight of a ministry. Not one, not two. Glory be to God, but we have four in Jamaica and one in England. It's not easy. It is not easy to shepherd a small congregation or a huge congregation. But indeed, we have a man of God. He stand tall even in the face of adversaries. When things are good, he, he, he stood the test. When things are bad, he stood the test. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't know about you, but I love. And it ain't no thank you, thank you love. It ain't no fake love. Glory be to God. But it is a genuine love. Glory be to God. It is a, 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 a daughter to father love. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. I don't know about you people of God. But I cherish this man of God. And I bless God for him. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, put those hands together. And if you love the man of God, I want you, I want you to praise God for him. Glory be to God. If you truly love this man of God, I want you to praise God for him. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he's doing it. Glory be to God. I don't know where. Glory be to God. He got the strength from. But I know that God will continue to strengthen him. To carry out the mission and the vision. Glory be to God. To lead us in the right path. Amen. Amen. And if you are standing in the congregation. And you don't love this man of God. You are at the wrong place. Can I say this before I put on the man of God? I said if you are standing or sitting in this congregation and you don't love this man of God, you are at the wrong place. Amen. You are at the wrong place. Hallelujah. You are at the wrong place. Wrong place. I'm pretty young in this and sometimes I feel like giving up. Can you imagine this man of God? Hallelujah. But if you really love him, put your hands together and make welcome our Hallelujah. bishop, the 20 star general, the soldier, the man of God in care of the Holy Spirit. Man of God, receive your congregation in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's hear it for Reverend Katian James Dennis, our pastor of ministries, our young apostle Joshua in the house. We got a psalmist here and, of course, apostles, father, amen. All our visitors, everybody in the house of breakthrough, open your mouth and make some noise for the living God. Somebody shout! Lift up Jesus! Hallelujah! I want to, I wanna, it's, it's Easter and um, this is Holy Week. This is Palm Sunday. Amen. There's a little old song. I don't know if you all know it. It goes like this. I want to hear the story. I want to hear the story. You know the song that? Really want to hear the story of him. You want to hear the story? Huh. I want to hear the story. I want to come. Let's have church. Yeah. I really want to hear the story of him. Died for me. First, tell me the story of Jesus, Jesus, right on my heart, everyone. Tell of the great, written in anguish and pain. Ooh. One 
wonderful is his name and that's the reason why i love him so oh, for jesus is the sweetest name i know yes everybody sing say i want to hear the story i want to hear the story I really want to hear the story of the Lord. I want to hear the story. I want to I really want to, really want to hear the story. I want to hear the story. Oh, I I wanna, I really wanna hear the story. One more time, say, I wanna hear the story. I wanna hear the story. I really wanna hear the story. I'll give you Make some noise. Hallelujah. Be seated. Let no man tells you it is pagan. Let nobody tell you it is not right to reflect this week on the terrible moment where our Lord Jesus Christ went through a week of agony grief and pain. He died alone. They mocked him, scorning, beat him, tried him, found an innocent man guilty. We cannot forget this moment. So as you're coming to this Easter, it's not about bun and cheese celebration and excitement. It's not the com commercialization of the moment is for us Christians never to forget that moment because without that moment you and I would not be here this day praising God in this church so this week I want you to be very reflective focus and I want you to delve deep into understanding as the song said I want to hear the story that story cannot go unnoticed. It's got to be rewritten every time, regurgitated. We have to continue to remember. Amen. And it, as the word said, teach it to our children, children. They want us to stop teaching it because they want to paganize it. But in our faith and our hope and our trust in the real, true and living Savior, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only. Hallelujah. He gave to you and I his only. That whosoever believes on him should not perish. But have eternal life. What a God. What a gift to humanity. We must not forget the moment. So let nobody commercialize you and commercialize it. Read it in the Bible this week. Everybody be reflective. Get your Bible up. Read the story. Read the death, burial, resurrection. Let it come alive in your spirit as if you were there. And then let it convict and continue to convert you. To continue to be a child God and a saved believer who is convicted by this move of God to give his son for us. Amen? Praise God. Cannot forget this moment. Praise Jesus. I'm excited to be in church today with you. I want you all to uh, remember that as you heard our convention is coming up. This one special. Amen. Everything is brewing and bubbling in the country. Lord have mercy. It's scary. Some of the things that are been uh, happening and are circulating and are going on as we gather to continue to raise the banner of Christ high and pray that God will have his way in this nation. 
I beg of you to come on out, make it a date to be here, amen, on Monday as we gather to continue to pray and cry out to God for God to have his way in our land and in our nation and in our country. Hallelujah. The, those who trust in Mount Zion can never be put to shame. And we got to continue to call on our God to reverse the order, break the spell, and those who are to be ushered out of whatever place, position of witchcraft, wickedness, and evil, we shall usher them out. In Jesus' name. Are you, get excited. Get excited. Praise God. We're going to hasten on. Amen. We got a baby to christen. We invite the child and parents to come. Amen. We've got young Wilson. Amen. That is here with us. And it looks like Ro. Oh, yes. Rox Roxanne Wilson. Child of Mr. Craig Wilson and Miss Rich Richie and Jackson. Rather. Jesus. Okay. Huh? I want to go home. What, Jesus? Where you come from? Foreign? Huh? Yeah? Where? <laughs> All right, go on to mommy a little bit. I want to go home. Grandma, your grandma, where's mommy? At home. Okay. Jesus. Lord. Uh, she's stylish. She's muglish. Amen. Uh, let's bless her because she's hot. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Come stand with me. Come. You're not going nowhere. <laughs> it's good to give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. My soul live for him, my children serve him. They shall tell of the Lord to the coming generation and proclaim his deliverance to people unborn. These things the Lord has done. We gathered here together as part of the family of God. Today we welcome this grandparent who have come to give God thanks for the gift of this child. We ask God's blessings upon this child and we represent this child in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They brought children for Jesus to touch the disciples, rebuke them. When Jesus saw it, he was indignant. He said, let the children come. Do not stop them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Put his arms around them, laid his hands upon them, and bless them. Amen. Oh, does he like it? I don't know what he just said. Amen. All right. Praise God. I like her. She's nice. Every time I see these beautiful little children, I wonder how people hurt them. You know, they're so innocent, so nice. These men, these people get up and kill them and hurt them. And I don't know how they do it. Boy, they're crazy, heartless. Amen. It's time to worship God with our tithes and our offering. Today is hot. I'm going to get the hot preacher on to preach for me today while I rest a little bit, maybe later on. But it's giving time. Worship God with your tithes and your offering. It's not to me, but it is to God. One of the reasons why we do it the Bible way, because we don't want you to feel like you're giving it to us. So it is upon your free will that you walk your way to the altar and present your gifts and your sacrifice on the altar and believe God. One of what you have earned and what you have received is not yours. The Bible says, will a man rob God 
but yet you have robbed me with your tithes and your offering. You are cursed with a curse when you do that. And as we declare this morning, there are many people, your enemy's altar is winning the war because your enemies have and is willing to put more sacrifice on their altar against you while you sit and rob God. And when you rob God and you're cursed with that curse, it gives the enemy who is uh, up against you more power to take you out. Let your altar speak and let your sacrifice speak. Amen. For your blessing. In Jesus' name. Are you ready? Stand on your feet. Lift your sacrifice to the heavenlies. And say, Lord, this which I have in my hand is not mine, it's yours. And now I release it on the altar of breakthrough. And I believe God, my God, that I will receive an abundance of blessing, hundredfold, sixtyfold, thirtyfold. Stretch your sacrifice, say, oh, that you would bless me. Enlarge my territory. Let your hand be upon me. Let no evil come near me. Bless me indeed. And enlarge my territory. In Jesus name. Amen. I want you to come to the sides. Come back and go back through the middle. So nobody come through the middle. Go to the sides. Come through quick and fast. Make a brisk squawk. And go back as we, as we do this right now. Please go back through the middle. As you come through the sides. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Only you are holy. Nah, 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 nah. Only you are worthy. Make a quick walk, please. Don't take all day. Walk quickly as a queen. Only you are wonderful. And there is no one else like you. Who is faithful ever true? Who is faithful ever true? All my love, all my love, my life is a testimony. It is a testimony, Lord. It only is a you are only, only you are worthy, Lord. Only you are worthy. Only you are. Only you are. Only you are, only you are wonderful. There is no one. Who is faithful, ever true? Who is faithful, ever true? All my love, 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 Holy. It is a testimony. It, it is, is a, a testimony. Only you are, only you are, only you are. Holy. Only you are where they lie. Only you are where only you are, only you are, only you are wonderful. There is no one else, there is no one else like you who is 
faithful, ever true. Wonderful, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you are wonderful. There is no one else. There is no one else like you. Thank you, Jesus. It is a testimony. Father, we thank you now for your blessing and that which has been elevated to your altar. We present it before you. And we ask for your divine blessing. As your people has released it in faith, may they receive in abundance. Let your will be done. Fill their store baskets that they never go empty. Father, in the name of Jesus, let those who sow well reap in abundance. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we elevate it now for your kingdom building. In Jesus' name, give God the praise. I want to, myself, Reverend Thames, we want to celebrate our newest couple of uh, the 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 Shad. Where, where are they? Please come here. They just joined us. Unlike some people in our sought themselves, they sought themselves out. Quick and fast, because they're determined to serve God. And who says it cannot happen once you're determined? Come on, put your hands together for our newest couple. Please. Bless you. God bless you. Congratulations. Come, Rev. Let's pray. And believe God, they got married away from, from here. But I counseled them, myself and Rev. Journeyed with them. And they're ready. Hold hands. The two is one. Remember, don't let go. <laughs> Amen. Father, we just pray for this young couple as they have joined us. And join this ministry. They have put their lives in perspective together. And as unite together as one. We pray that you will bless their union. That you will cover them and be with them and be upon them. Oh God, let your anointing. They're passionate. They're zealous. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you will keep them steadfast. Unmovable in the kingdom. Let no weapon form against them prosper. And every tongue that rise up be condemned. Cover them under your blood as they join together as one today. Oh Lord, may they continue to love and serve you in a serious, meaningful way. Bless them now. Bless their union. And we pray they will be workers in the vineyard to your honor and your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Enjoy marriage. God bless you. Amen. 
Praise God. Remain standing. We've got our British, Jamaican British. Yeah, I met him in the UK. Did some revivals. He was very supportive and very open. You know this for him is a stone and a, as he delivers here on home soil, we want to embrace one of our own. And the Lord has brought a Joshua. And I don't take his company and his presence lightly. I know he's one sent to strengthen and pray for. While I was in UK, he was praying night and day for me. And that's what I need. You know, I got some folk in the church going all over the place trying to rip and say crazy stuff. Terrible thing. There are people praying for me. There are people who God is sending hold me up. Even though it's my Sunday today, I want to allow him to minister on this Sunday morning. And he's got a word. Come on, make of it Pastor Joshua Stewart. Stewart. We no favor, but we pass. <laughs> God bless you. Congregation of Breakthrough Portmore is yours. Anything the Lord tells you to do, just mash up and put. Amen. Come on, lad. Don't you can do better than that. Come on, amen. The Lord is a good God. God is a good God. Come on, shout amen. Come on, give God a loud praise if you can praise him louder than this. I I'm trying to feel you out now. Let me feel you out. Let me hear your amens. Uh, all right, that amen need baptism. Come on, let me hear an amen that is born again. Come on, come on, give the Lord a loud praise. Let me hear a praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Woo. Praise God. Come on, one more Help me out. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to have church fast. Praise God. Woo. Praise God. Let me hear your amen sound loud like thunder. The louder your praise, the bigger your blessing today. I want you to shout victory. Come on, I can't hear your neighbor shout victory. Let your neighbor hear you say victory. All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down because I don't know why you're making me preach so early. All right, we just want to start. Amen. Let me be obedient to the Holy Ghost and now I'm start by doing what is right to the house. I bless you, every one of you today. I thank the Lord for your lives. I know that God has a word for you. Amen. And even as I'm talking, I see, I see buckets pouring. I see buckets pouring. I'm seeing in the rims and I see God pouring out. That means somebody's cup is turned up today. And God got about to overflow, overflow. My God, why are you giving so much fire so early? Somebody's been praying. Who's been praying in this house? Somebody been praying. And now the waters are trouble. And I don't know about you, but I'm about to sip in. And I'm about to leave you with my victory. I wish somebody would shout victory. I can't hear a shout victory. I want you to shout victory. Woo. So, uh, I know time is well gone. I don't know how you do it. Yeah. Churches and, and you they tell me just preach pastor. Preach. Forget about the watch. Uh, amen. But, um. 
I know you want to come back later tonight. And I want you to come back out tonight. Is that okay? So I'm going to see. I'm going to try to see if I can do as quick as I am in the message. And deliver. And then uh, tonight we will be back here. And then that time it will be what a bam bam. What a bam bam. Doop. <laughs> All right, the church ready. Church ready. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. I'm here, but I'm not here by myself. Amen. It's a pleasure to see my father. This is what, the second time that day or third time? My father's been in my presence to see me preach. So I'm grateful. Come on, my father, Mr. Anthony Stewart. Come on, give it up for my father. That's my real daddy, my blood daddy. Amen. Daddy, I couldn't be a lawyer. I was born to be a preacher. <laughs> Amen. I had the lingua for the lawyer, but this was what God called me for. Amen. And I bless him all. I'm also here with a good friend all the way from the UK. I promise you because of time, I know I know this man of God will make you hear, or maybe tonight, maybe coming back tonight. Great psalmist, a woman of God. Sing. I want you to sing your father drum. Great vessel, anointed. Amen. We buck up, and I'm telling you, great vessel. We are in Jamaica together, and we're running some revival. And she's been a great support. Come on, give it up for Raquel Samuel. Amen. She's the CEO of Worship Room on Facebook. If you go there, you'll find her. Great ministry. Consistently every Monday. Amen. She declared Worship Room. Pray, prophesy, and declare the word of the Lord. Great ministry. To all the pastors in the house of the Lord. Come on, I want to thank God for Reverend. Same stay. Same stay. Tame. Tame stay. Okay. Okay. I'm real British. Well, on the potter soon come on. Wait, wait. De Reverend Dennis. Oh, Reverend Dennis. God bless you. I like your ministry. Amen. You're radical. She's a radical lady. I like that about her. Amen. To Apostle Marshall in his absence. Is he here today? I can't see him. And all the in-house pastors, ministers. Everyone in your respective position, I honor the Lord. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. Clap your hands today. Amen. And while you're doing that, I want you to clap yourself for clap your hands for yourself right now. Amen. While you clap your hands, come on, clap your hands for yourself. Wow. Excited, excited. Amen. And last but not least, amen. I want you to give me a loud praise, shout, clap hands. For your pastor, your apostle, your teaching priest and minister, the God sent to you, the dust say of the Lord, speaker to you. Come on, the man of God and the apostle, the prophet, the teacher, the preacher of the word of God in the person. I, I call him apostle. I call him apostle. Mark Stewart. Come on, give it up for him one more time. Great man of God. I went to watch him the first time with Van Nietzsche. Well, we connected the first time, but the, somehow I didn't get a chance to, to minister with him and support him as I wanted. But the second time, I knew God gave me another opportunity. And I took hold of it. And when I went to watch him, I said, but the man can't preach. I said, preach, man, I got preach. Why did I preach with a job? Word me up, pastor. Word me up. And he was indeed a preacher. Indeed, he didn't disappoint me. He preached. My God, I'll never forget one night he preached until I said I, I was going to fly. I felt like I was going to jump, take the mic from him and, double, and, and do a double do. He preached. Reverse the order. <laughs> Turn back the curse. Reverse the order. Order against your children. I want somebody to shout, reverse the order. <laughs> You see, I'm trying to let him. I was listening. <laughs> he preached, he preached, and it was God was glorified. Amen. Take your seats. We're going to go in the word of the Lord, and then I'm going to run out to your way. Amen. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If that's okay, is that okay? Amen. So I don't wet this mic up early because I preach hard, and because I preach hard, when the mic gets wet, I can hear it. When it gets wet, I can hear it. and. We need the sound. You know, you know that one, Pastor. 
So you got the Bible. Let's turn to the Word of God in the book of um, Matthew. I want you to turn to Matthew 21. Amen. Amen. I want you to turn to 21. I want you to go to, amen, verses. Uh, yes. Yes. Verses 7, from verses 7. Matthew 21, verse 7. And when you have it, say, I got the Word. Say, I've got the Word. Amen. After three, I'll read it as you follow. And they brought an ass and a, the coal and put their clothes and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude, say great multitude, spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and straw, my God, and straw them in the way. And the multitude went before and followed crying, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blesses it he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had come into Jerusalem, and all of the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus went to the temple of God, and caused out all the soul and overthrew the temple and the money changers and the seats of them that sold dove. And he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer. I want you to shout prayer. Lord, and I, I don't even want to go to the second bit. My house shall be called the house of my house shall be called a house of you know, when I hear the Lord start talking to me right there, I thought I was off course. But now, Lord, your God just confirmed this word. Say, my house shall be called the house of what? Now, there's sometimes people don't understand how God operates unconventional. It's not just conventional like we are. You know, predictable. God operates unconventional. Before I go in the word of God, can you just borrow me a few minutes to pray? Can I pray? Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, I pray for your divine grace and your will to be done today in the service. Uh, and Lord, as I avail myself, it is my prayer that you will self-employ my lips even right now. And that you will speak to me according to the ability you're given unto me as a wise master builder. Let the word of God flow from my mouth that will be effective. Uh, let the word come forth of my my mouth that will be a blessing unto the hearts and the mind of your people. I pray that you will speak through me as your oracle according to the ability you're given unto me. And I pray that before the service is over, everybody will be shouting out dire in the eyes. I pray that your people will get victory today in a financial way. Victory today in a spiritual way. Victory today. My God, in an uncommon way. Father, I am just a vessel, but as I avail myself, channel my yourself through me. Your people come here today with an expectancy. And now I pray, feed them with your word. Bless them with the word. Empower them with the word. Word. And most of all, God, edify them with the word. Let this word go forth like power. Let this word go forth like the wind. Let this word go forth to bring change. Let this word go forth to bring elevation. And most of all, let this word go forth to bring transformation. For the better, not the worse. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this podium, over the minds of your people. And I pray that he that ever hear, let him hear. I pray for the ears of your people, that their ears will be awakened to hear. I pray that their hearts will be open to believe your word. For you said this with our heart, we believe unto righteousness. With our mouth, confession is made. I pray you will employ our lips to praise you. Hallelujah to acknowledge and to confirm your word. I pray our minds will be open to comprehend your word. For it's with our minds we serve you. I pray against every wandering mind. I pray against every satanic strategy that comes against our mind. I pray against delusions and illusions. I pray against mental distractions. And I pray the order of God will flow in this house. As the word go forth, may our mind comprehend it. May our heart believe it. May our word affirm and confirm it. May 
our ears hear it to receive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray for your power you said you have given us power over all power to tread upon serpents and scorpions God I pray right now let your power be upon you as you clear the atmosphere let preaching and teaching be easier and let the fire fall God I pray for your fire your fire that will bring victory your fire that will bring deliverance your fire that will bring change have a father we pray for the fire from the right side to the left side let the fire fall oh Lord this day where many have entered the church singing oh sire we pray save from the least to the greatest save oh command oh somebody been praying God I pray right now let your power come from an eye and when it's all said and done then it will be said all that be thy name then all the glory and the honor goes to you as we give you praise honor and glory as we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus and the church shout amen like a thunder right now let me hear you amen confirm what was requested in Jesus name Amen. Now I'm going to start, as I say, from a very unconventional place. Hallelujah. And talking about, uh, hallelujah, my God, this great Sunday that many has indeed celebrated. People of God, I want you to understand that today I'm going to tie up two messages. Uh, I shall I say three? One commemorating of the, hallelujah, my God, Palm Sunday. Amen. As we know, or two, I'm going to talk about prayer is not just a spiritual exercise, but prayer is indeed, hallelujah, not just a spiritual exercise but prayer is indeed necessary say prayer is necessary I can't hear her say prayer is necessary oh my god we're going to talk about it because my god the church want power but the church don't want prayer our lord god the church want power but the church don't want prayer you need to read the word of god again it is said in the book of I believe James James said the effect of fervent prayer of the righteous I do what avail it what much it's not what the word of god says it avail much but no you need to read it a little bit more deeper if you look in the amplified version what it actually says it says much prayer hallelujah or it says the prayer of the righteous make much power available if you want power you gotta go back into prayer i hear a preacher said it many of us we love the theology i'm an, i'm an against theology i am for the study of the word i am a bible fanatic i like to read the bible i like to study oh my god the word of the lord but you can't have theology without neology can i talk about it neology where people have to go on their knees and pray to the lord our father so i'm gonna tie that up and i'm gonna show you that it's all in the same context and the other one i'm going to use oh lord to summarize it all together is covenant say covenant man of god covenant because god does nothing outside of the context of covenant by god despite what everybody else say read the word of god that's why he's the god of abraham isaac and he's a god of what jacob or the god of israel because he always remember his covenant we have what we call a new testament and an old testament which is a new covenant and the old covenant nothing God does is outside of the context of covenant if you're going to get anything from God you got to be a covenant person if you're going to see God manifest in your life in a great way you got to have a covenant with God and God's altar and you can't talk about altars you can't talk about covenant and don't talk about altar I want someone to shout covenant now, now, before you're making the noise, I want to empower your intellect a little bit. So, I, I'm glad that you're a bit quiet right there. Amen. It is said that Palm Sunday commemorate the entrance of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. During which palm branches were placed, my God, in his pathway before my God is arrested on the Holy Thursday, is made for his crucifixion on Good Friday. It is thus marked, my God, the beginning. It is something that marks the beginning of a very sacred week, say sacred, sacred or holy week. Amen. In the years we see.
my God, Palm Sunday fall a number of different days. My God, is when people call it the Passion Sunday. Amen. So if you're coming here today believing that you believe in the Palm Sunday, you should enter with a passion. Amen. Nobody should tell you to praise God today. If there's no other day on the face of the oh God of the calendar, you should have entered today in God with thanksgiving. And you should enter with what? praise my god you enter his gate with what thanksgiving and you come in his court with what praise you see that's why many of us will never access the courtroom of heaven hallelujah to negotiate to know to negotiate on our behalf we never get the opportunity to enter the courtroom you see there is a courtroom in the heavens hallelujah you need to access to negotiate or to plead your cause and that's why many of us read the scripture but we don't understand the context of the legalities in the scriptures that's why david i believe the psalmist i should say said in psalms 35 plead my cause because somebody's always pleading against your prayers and that's why you have to ask god to plead your cause I don't know about you, but today I believe I came here to touch and agree with the man of God, to plead on the behalf of somebody. And because we're about to plead from this podium, somebody's about to get their victory. I can't hear no amen like you're confident. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't you don't have to shout now. All right, when the word gets to you, you will shout. But I come here to prophesy, oh Lord, to somebody that have been going through or going through for a very long time. I come to let you know before the service is over. Oh my God, that going through is about to expire and you're about to come in out of this place singing victory, victory, victory. Victory in Christ Jesus. I wish somebody was shot victory or oh, somebody's pushing me to hurl it. Somebody's pushing me to hurl it. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me lift, let me, let me lay a foundation. So people of God, we understand Stand that is indeed a day of victory. Shout the day of victory, amen. And I want to tell you something about the palms. It is a biblical palm Sunday story, is about cheering a crowd, greeting Jesus. Oh my god, it's about a cheer on Christ, a cheer on crowd, meeting Jesus. Amen. In other words, are people that come to celebrate Christ? Oh my god, listen. I know I know me look good, but don't celebrate me, celebrate Jesus. When you come inside of this place, the only person we are celebrating is Christ. Or oh, the word commemorate mean we are celebrating. Or oh, we are big up. We are big up Jesus. Or oh, in other words, we are giving him what he deserves. And the Bible says, God deserves the praise. That's how the psalmist says, praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firming of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him for his excellent goodness. Praise him, my God, on the sound of the temple, on the high sounding symbol. Praise him on the string instrument. Praise tell us, let everything that I breath praise he the Lord. I don't know about you, but I didn't come here to praise myself. A praise a cheer or oh, on this one I come to praise God praise God that's why I start with praise God I can worship people I can praise him the woman of God said Sometimes you have to praise him anyhow. I know you didn't come here for this, but I'm gonna push you until you praise God. Do you know the power of praise? When somebody praise God, the power stimulate the praise that will bring the deliverance. You want power? Praise him. You believe I can't preach? I know how to preach, but the Lord God sent me to trouble somebody. The spirit of heaviness got to leave your house leave your children and you've got to come back to the place of praise 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 it don't look good but praise him anyhow we are under attack but praise him anyhow your money gone funny but praise him anyhow i wish somebody would stand up turn around and See, I got to praise, and I got to let it. Alabato shamatae. 
Libanda Bapataye, Shada Gadu, Say neighbor, neighbor, I got a praise on this Palm Sunday, and I got to say, I got to, I got to let it out, let God to praise now. Woo, they're missing my message, Pastor. But let me preach if I feel like preaching. The problem why the church don't praise God. They don't understand the power of praise. Can I break it down for you? When you want it to break down, just say, word me up, Pastor. Word me up. So the Bible says, God inhabits the praise of his people. Or can I break it down? God inhabits the praise of his people. When you talk about in you have to look at the word root or the root word. We simply mean God dwells in the praise of his people. So every time I want God to dwell somewhere, all I need to do is to praise God. So if I need God to dwell in my situation, I got to praise him. If I need God to dwell, can I preach that? Feel like preaching. When I want God to dwell in your husband, praise God. If you want God to dwell in your money, praise God. If you want God to dwell in your prayer life, shall I praise him? Shall I praise him? Now you're gonna wanna wanna wanna. You're making me preach too early. My God, you need to take your seat. Oh, they're full of fire over four more. Please take a seat. Please, please. Apostle. Can I can I tell you? They got too much fire over here. Thank you. A double Stuart sweat now. <laughs> because one will chase a thousand, but two. That's why I know somebody going to get their break to a ton. I need to behave myself. Oh, apostle. So I see my people don't praise God because they don't understand the power of praise. Can I break it down a little bit more? What it means when God dwell in your praise is simple, simple like this. If you break down the word dwell, it simply means God sits down in my praise. So every time I want God to sit on me because the truth be told, sometimes some things rub you the wrong side. And you need God and the Holy Ghost to sit on you. And now you get God to sit on you. Just praise him. When they mess with you, all you are saying to the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, sit on me. Or when they mess with you with the Obia man, you praise God. You're telling Holy Ghost, sit on me. Someone that need God to sit on us. Sit on our children. Sit on your wife. Sit on your husband. Say, Holy Ghost, Sit on me. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody gonna get the Hosanna. Somebody gonna get the Hosanna. Shout Hosanna. Shout Hosanna. Lick it till he boss. I did my own work, Apostle. Take a seat, take a seat. Make more than memory priests are heard. Take a seat, please. People from the back, please take on a seat. Madam, you will make me preach early. Please. Usher, just sit, sit, sit. Apostle, just take a seat. I'm going to come. So we see then that the commemoration of this specific season is to bring to remembrance. And what it, God is reminding us of when we enter the building and start celebrating 
woman of God, man of God, we are celebrating the fact that the God we serve is a God that has victory over death, hell, and the grave. And he has power over every power. So it doesn't matter what power is fighting you. Every time you celebrate the celebration of Jesus' dead, rest, and resurrection, this Passion Sunday, you are telling the devil you can't handle me. Because the God I serve, he has the keys to hell, death, and the grave. And he has given me power. I wonder the people with the power there now. I feel like we're going to fly now. I wonder if somebody got power. Stop being a wishy-washy Christian. What they call jelly back, jelly back Christian. You got to be firm and know you got power. I don't know you don't look good, but you still have power. I know they say you don't have power, but you have power. Sometimes people talk about you and make you think you don't have power. The devil is a liar. Say God, no, God, no give and take back. God, no Indian giver. When God say I give you power, that's what He says, giving you power. I don't care what your hater says. If God give you power, give you power. I don't care what your neighbor says. If God give you power and give you power, I don't care what people say. Can I hear the people with power? Shout, Lord, give me power. I can hear it say, Lord, there's going to be a move of the Holy Ghost. Say, Lord, give me power. And the scripture tell, I've given you power over ever power. So in other words, we are celebrating the facts that we have power. Stop pretending you don't have no power. The devil is afraid of you. And suddenly you come to church a puny, puny. Act like everybody's against you but the world. The devil is a liar. Get your bones back. Get your flow back. Get your rhythm back. Get your rest mark at all. Get it back. This day of passion is tell somebody get back your power, get back your prayer life, get back your dance, get it back. I come here from London to take back what the devil stole. I can see it in your spirit. It mess with your prayer life, it mess with your praise. But today, before the service is over, somebody. He's about to get, 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 Shot, give me back. So, so this is it. It come on my rate. The fact that Jesus done it already. That he's done it already. You know, they don't understand what I mean. They done already. You know, I went somewhere to pray for a particular thing. But while I was going there to pay for it, man of God, I got there. But somebody who knew me already went there before me. And the person went there before me and paid for the item. So when I pick up the item and I'm going to pay, the person tell me, it's already been paid for. <laughs> I get that. They say, you don't need to pay again. It's already been, it's done already. They get that one didn't get that one. It's done already. Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. You know, the moment we preach too early. It's done already. It's done already. So I said, okay. I was privileged, my God, to take the item without paying for it because someone paid for it for me. And the payment was already done before I got there. Hey, hey. 
Oh, can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Some of you, the devil lied to you before you came here. He fought you that you shouldn't have come to service today because he didn't want you to hear what I'm about to prophesy. That what you came for from the Lord is done already. Oh, my God. I can't hear no amen. I can't hear no. Oh, your amen don't sound like you're the person. Maybe somebody over this side. Maybe somebody over side. Let me shout. It's done already. Oh, oh, no, I can't feel it, but I feel something better over here. Can I prophesy already done? Can I prophesy already done? Your breakthrough is already. My turnaround is already. My healings are ready. My open heavens are ready. My marriage is already. My breakthrough is already. It's already. My turnaround is already. My healing is already. My favor is already. Oh, I see this in the realm. Can I prophesy like this? Somebody wants to buy a truck. Somebody wants to buy a truck. Can I prophesy? While I was seeing the word, I see a truck driving in the realms. And God said, The money is already release and the truck is already released who am i prophesying to who am i prophesying to i prophesy your truck is released shot is already done shot is already done doctor i see another room is like crazy over here what's going on here? something on i'm seeing i'm seeing one looking for investment to build a coop, like a chicken coop. <laughs> Pastor, should I prophesy? Shall I prophesy? Shall I prophesy? Or should I keep quiet? Shall I keep quiet? I see it's already done. I prophesy everything you need for the investment. I speak as a man of God. Let the windows of heaven open. I prophesy it's coming now. Apostle. You do it like that too? Now quick, I'm going to do my message. There's about 10 of you. Because not only, not only God's going to open business. Uh, business, I'm seeing business. Am I making it up? Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I'm making it up. But I'm seeing the word businesses. Pure. More than one business. And I'm seeing it flowing from one side to the other. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, you wake up the business to work. Talk to the altar. I'm, I'm trying to get there, but I'm seeing so much in the prophetic. Ah, look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing apostle. That's what the prophetic work. Because I'm seeing a lady now praying for her son in America to get his paper straight. Lord Jesus, let me stop prophesying. Should I stop prophesying like this? I see her praying for her son. Mommy, that's you. Is that you? Oh, Father, I feel the Holy Ghost. No, 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 no. I got I to gotta finish this word. Maybe tonight we have to finish it. Shall I prophesy? No, no. No. They tell you, come quickly. I see that 10. Sow it to reverse it. Something has been fighting your business. And there's 10 of you. I see almost a pounds, but dollars, Jamaican dollar, no, I say go. 10,000 Jamaican dollars. How much is that? That's about a little bit of money. There are 10 of you. You're about to start a business. Look. Look, I see it in the realm. Oh, wait. I'm preaching still. But you need to lay it on the altar while the oil is there. Don't stay. Mommy, we're going to pray for your son. This is going to be a release. You're going quiet now. You don't hear the fire now. You will hear it later. Because you don't understand the power of the altar. You don't shout without power if you don't have an altar to, to wake up the power. It is the altar that sends the message in your heart to God. When you connect with the altar, I mean, I want to rush you now. But I see 10, 10 of you. I see the 10,000. Who is that? Quickly, I'm preaching. I'm preaching. We're going to give that seed. Sow it. Look, the Lord going to trouble you. 
I, I, I'm not making it up. The Lord is here. So I see, I see a truck. I see the truck traveling. I see the truck over. Hey, tr hey, where the truck man there? Where the truck man there? <laughs> but I declare as a servant of the Lord, whatever hold up that brand new truck, I command a divine release. I wish somebody would shout victory. I wish somebody would shout victory. I wish somebody would shout. To the, to the person I lay a seat down. Now look, look at this. Oh, hold on. Yes. Now look at this. Now look at this. I'm telling you. Apostle. This church will not need for nothing. This church will not for nothing. I see businesses like dirt. What you're raising up in the south are business people. The anointing of an entrepreneur is on your pastor, your apostle. You believe you're not going to string along on you guys? That's why. Say to them, don't miss Tuesday. Say, neighbor, don't miss Tuesday. Whatever you do, don't miss Tuesday. Because Tuesday, I'm going to come here in a working suit to pray. And listen, we're going to lay hands on as much as the fly in this building, we're going to lay hands on you. Listen, you're not getting excited. You're not so next. Apostle, Apostle, not the one. I want to stop because sometimes they don't believe in the power of the prophetic. I remember I was on Zoom. I was on Zoom. And while I was on I start prophesying. I said, I declare to you by the grace of God upon my life, there's some money that is coming to you that they can't use a normal bank transfer to put it in your account. Because it's too big. Everybody look at me on the line. Watch him now. You know, you know, Jamaicans, um, they get funny. Why my talk say? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't prophesy in existence. The woman that I spoke to share the audacity. She said, prophet, that is me. Send me your cash out. Me never ask her, obviously. By the time I was traveling the next morning, I hear, crookum, crookum, you know, cash out, make the nice song. She sent me $500 from US. She said, apostle, that is just to confirm and agree with your prophecy. Because we say we believe, but we don't act on faith. You see, faith is an action word. Faith is a word that you're sure that you believe that what God said is mine. So you use faith to confirm it. God, can I preach? Can I preach like this? Because all of us say, I have got faith. Faith come by here. And you hear the instruction you respond. Who is coming? Who is coming? She's coming with us. You are 10. All right. She's sewing her 10. You're one of them. So before you go, I got to lay hands on you. But please, stay right. Tell them stay close right there. Come woman. You, you're coming with your 10. All right. She come with her 10. Listen, listen. Oh my God. Look at the Holy Ghost. Look at the Holy Ghost. Let me finish the testimony before you leave. Because you don't believe. Listen. I have seen it too much. Oh, The power of a word spoken. The thing God does. He I am a mouth of a prophet to prophesy. Hey. I was, I, 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 ah. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, pound, she wants it back in. Listen, I prophesy your release of being a pound and even the more. I want to hear somebody shout, I receive. What they hear, I receive. Shout, amen, like a thunder. I receive. I'm about to prophesy, but I need to finish. I need to finish this one. Apostle. I got up and I prophesied. You know, you know you go when you're under the anointing. Yeah. You're run and you're gone. The lady connect with me again, man of God. The next day, I said, man of God, the Lord has troubled me. 
Me say, why God had trouble? Because she said, I saw five. But God tell me to give you five more. I said, are you on God business? Not for me. <laughs> the message i'm just the mailman the problem is uh, they want us to be the mailman and the person that returned the mail no i'm just the mailman i'm just here to give you the message uh, it is your duty to respond to the message uh, or the post that comes from the mailman i come to post in your letterbox uh, and uncommon on you uh, some of money in your bank account uh, from an unknown source who am i prophesying to or who am i prophesying uh, take it up or so it's about to be transferred. I prophesy in the next 72 hours. Look out for miracle. Look out for an uncommon sum. Our money showing up in your bank account. I wish somebody was shot prophesy. So I, I said, I said to the lady. Now, when I saw her, saw the other seed, mother, me know straight away that there was something big coming. Lord, man of God, pastor, I knew there and then that there was something big coming. Man, I said to the man of God, you're so too hard. She said, pastor, you know, stop the way to God release. Watch me and you. I'm going to shock you I'm going to send to you. I said, ha. When she said, I'm going to say, me fix good now. I'm going to say, ha. I'm going to stop it now. I'm going to say, ha. People of God, can I tell you? I started to pray with the woman of God two nights. I said three nights. The first night we prayed. The next morning, the woman sent me back a message. She said, Pastor, I'm sending you all morning. I'm calling you. I'm messaging you. You're not looking at your clock. She sent me a photocopy. I'm taking the picture of it and sent it through my WhatsApp. I said, this is a zero, 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 zero. Apostle, I was sitting out. I dropped off of the chair. This is zero, 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 zero. So, so much zeros are the biggest so much of zeros I see. She said, this is what God just did for me. Just because I believe your word. And she said, you don't only stop there. She said, I have some properties. And the properties that is all the way in Brazil that you prophesy. God is working things out that I'm about to access my prophecies again. I don't know who they are taking your property from you. Oh, I'm seeing some people that went overseas and they gave money to people to look after their property. I've seen the devil steal their money. But tonight I prophesy. Who am I prophesying to? You are about to get it back. Shall divine recovery. Shall divine recovery. Shall divine Listen, you can tell your testimony star like this. If the problem with people, they don't believe in the power of the altar. It, look, we don't believe in the power of the altar. We're going to talk about it today, Tuesday. This altar, you don't play with it. I know by the spirit your pastor nor papa as he served God. When you sow a seed in this altar, you are saying I'm connecting to the altar. My father. You don't understand the power. When you're connecting with the seed, then you can call the God of Dr. Mark. The problem, people call upon the God, but they don't have covenant with the God of him. Should I teach? Should I teach? Should I teach? Should I teach? When Elijah, every time we talk about the God who answered by fire, may he be God. When Elijah confronted the false prophet, the first thing Elijah did was he repaired the altar. Oh, you didn't get that. He repaired the altar. And when he repaired the altar, he made sure he had the bullocks to sacrifice on. Was that Bible on me? I make it up. 
So that's what the problem with some of us. We want to fight against the attacks that are coming against our life, but we don't have no covenant with no altar. Listen, the truth be told, woman of God, some of the warfare that the people dealt with, they can't handle it on their own. They gone quiet. I mean. They can't handle the warfare on themselves. So they need another altar to fight for them. All right. All right. Can I teach like this? So I teach like this. So everybody talk about Elisha. How he carried the double portion. But who for anointing he carried with him? Double portion of Elijah anointing. So in true sense, it was Elijah still fighting for Elisha. You don't get that. You didn't get that. It was Elisha. No, no. This one, this one blew me. This one blew me. When Moses decided, oh Lord, that he couldn't do the work by himself. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And he get Aaron. And he got the counsel from his father. And when he got, this is what blew my mind. He got the counsel from his father. Say, get 70 men that are more qual that are qualified to stand on your behalf. The Bible said when they stand up and Moses was about to make the proclamation, God himself, the Bible said that God didn't take up God's spirit in us. The Bible said God took up the spirit of Moses. Should I leave it alone, Apostle? But God took up the spirit of Moses and put the spirit of Moses upon the people. Oh, Shalom Shanda. I know the Holy Ghost for myself. Oh, let me tell you something. There are some battles you can't handle. That's why God brought him through these battles. So he can fight for you. And when you are fighting because you're in covenant with him, his God will fight for you. Oh, can I break it down like I feel I'm breaking it up? That's why, uh, Apostle, I'm telling you something I tried. I remember one time, I was going a challenging time. You don't know about camping a car yet. You don't know about camping car yet. So financially strained that I forgot to pay for a ticket. And the England and ramp, you know? Hey, you know, pay the ticket. In no time, bail if they are door. So me come out for Valentine's Day. Walk out, look nice. Walk out, walk out, walk out. Walk out, walk. Walk out, apostle. Somebody got a pool to give. Me don't know why me get to yourself. Me have a whole of power there now. We, we listen. Me I will teach. Listen. When we teach on covenant, you will never hold back on God again. Apostle. So this is what hit me now. I was hearing the teaching on covenant, understanding covenant giving. Understanding the order of the person that God put over your life. Because a lot of people don't understand. Some anointing you have to get, you have to sew feet. You can't, some of us can't not have the strength to go through the same thing you go through. All right. You know, hear that. So, you know, one person talk about to and start crying. Me done with church. Every time we come, the usher not talk to me. Lord, leave it alone, Pastor Joshua. Should I leave it? You think me no no? Tum, 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 tum. You think me no no? You think me no no? You are going to side. You think me no no? Broom, broom. Me did my homework in it. <laughs> All right, don't be me. Don't stone the messenger. Come on, you got it. I pass it so. So, this is when God gave me the revelation. He said, son, there are certain anointings are better transferred than being experienced. Because some of us can't go through what he go through. But if we can sow in his life, we will get the ah, the anointing association. You're going to get that. You know, get make people who don't know nothing about Bible tell you something else. 
Why you think Elijah got double up Elijah anointing? He gave everything, his entire life. You think there was no other prophets? There was many other prophets. He had the school of the prophets. And they're good at prophesying. Because they knew that his master was about to ascend. Was about to be caught up. And Elijah knew. Elijah knew. If I can only serve my master just a little bit more. Even when the master said, no, Elisha, don't go this far. Elisha said, I'm going to go further. For some of you, you shouldn't even stop at 10,000. You should say, Pastor, I need bigger than 10,000. I need a 25,000 breakthrough. So what I need, my God, I should take 25,000. Because what I'm dealing with, Pastor, only God can bring me out. Some of you stop sometimes shallow. And it's not a sacrifice. And that's why God is not going to show up. But today I come to prophesy. As your covenant with the man of God. God is about to respond. From this altar. The same altar. That bring you out. Is about to bring you through. And is about to give you your breakthrough. And is about to give you your victory. I wish somebody would testify. Victory. Let me the testimony. So I can preach. So, woman of God, when I came out on Valentine's Day, I saw a clamp on the car. My wife was not that strong with her niche. Mobility wasn't good. So she needed a car. The car got clamp. They called the clamp man and said, hey, clamp man. Are no clamp move normally they move it in less than 24 hours, six to 24 hours. They move the car, they're gone. They take the car and they sell it. They beg him and say, Oh, sir, day number one. Now, when day number two come upon me, man of God, my senior pastor called me and they said, There is a need. I took out my sacrifice and I said, God. Show yourself mighty upon this sacrifice. And I lay my sacrifice at the altar of my senior pastor. When I go home, I couldn't even pray. I couldn't even pray. But I look up and I say, if God of my senior pastor be God, may he speak on my behalf. Can't, don't get jealous now. No. Don't get jealous now. So me do it, man of God. I sow the seed. I went home. I didn't even pray. Because sometimes you, the deal we are dealing with so heavy, you can't even pray. Or sometimes you can't even pray out, articulate it properly. But I've learned a strategy. You can't pray out, sing out. I, I'm, I'm helping somebody pray your life. I'm helping somebody pray your life. When they come, pray out, sing out. <laughs> Oh, so I'm traveling down the road and I can't even pray. But like I said, I start singing. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We sing. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the My God. And I'm going to stop on the devil and say, you see, look how long you are of God. Look how God I do you. Look how God make you shut down in a praise. You can't even pray. I'm the son I said, despite it all, my hallelujah, the Lord. So let me give you more. You. Sorry, this song is over here. Despite everything, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I start sing. Everybody look at me like wah wah. I sing my way through. So two days after now, I went to work. PD and I was sure. Man, I got what God did no shock. Is that sacrifice was not big seed. You know what God happened? The workplace paid me. And the money that they transfer into my bank account, they double my wages. You know, get, don't get jealous. 
that month that I work, they double the wages and transfer it, not even take out tax. All right, don't, don't, don't be jealous. If you're like me, I understand the law about legality, about money. When that money got to my uncle, we just start trying, 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 transfer, transfer, trying, trying, transfer. In case they try to claw back. <laughs> Till this day is a mystery to the workplace. How the money got into my bank account. How the money get transferred. I guess what they didn't even ask me to pay it back. Because you did. So, hold on. I'm not telling you something. I have not tried. I have not seen. Tested. So, we commemorate the season. Where God wants us to get victory. The season on only birth of only victory. But that victory going to get come through sacrifice. You see the problem with us? We major on the death of Jesus. But we never major on the word sacrifice. Who was Jesus? A sacrifice. Where was he laid on? An altar. So God knew. Now. We know the scripture that God is a God of time and season. So God put season to let man know what they need to do. We didn't get that. God don't live in a time. God live in eternity. So God create time and then he injects something called season. So season is part of time or season is in time. You know, so you go. You go. So you have March, you got January, February, March, April, May. All that is a calendar time in it. But you have different seasons in time. So you have what? Winter, autumn, spring, summer. So what God does in that season is he creates season to convey to man what they need to do. At springtime, no, the man of God said. A springtime now. Let, let, let me break it down. Let me break it down. Not man, but let me break how powerful this is. You see, we study the scripture, but we're not studied properly. So God is a God of time and season. Listen, how God deal with time and season, man of God. Look how powerful this is. You should say, "Word me up, Pastor. Word me up." We are close. We are close. What time is it? You tell me. We go and preach. So this is how God works. This is how God works. Let me show you how it works. God designed time. Then he designed season. He designed season number two that everything has an expiration date. Oh, I think somebody would have shouted on that right there. God designed season so everything has a what? Expiration date. So don't believe the lie, the lie the devil tell you that this won't end. The devil is a lie. Your trial is ending right now. Oh, you, you didn't get that. You didn't get that. I prophesy the attacks that have been coming against your life. All this year, I prophesy right now. Say day by day, ten, right now. The lack on the property ends right now. The frustration against your married head now. The frustration against your children end now. Shout it ends right now. I mean, Revelation. So when they, when Jesus walked into, my God, the temple, it was a symbol of victory that Israel already got. Remember, tell it's already done. So that's why the palm leaf was, because the palm leaf is a sign of victory. You didn't hear that? What? Listen, I cloth in. You swinging the white cloth in a war means you surrender. But wave the palm tree is a sign that you have the victory. <laughs> oh my God, today I didn't hear, I didn't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody saying victory. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't, don't run it. I'm coming. I'm going to drop this and we're going to run. So now this is how God works time and season. There are time and season because the word season, say the word season. 
The Greek word from the word season, man of God, is the word we use lightly and we use it regularly. It's a word called kairos. If I hear about kairos, it's my kairos season. If I hear they talk about that. All right. When you say it's your kairos season, you are saying it is your set appointed time. Not only that is your set appointed time, but it's a time for something to happen. Lord God. Lord God. Lord God, I feel that one already. I said, it's your set appointed time for something to happen. No, no. Look how long them are fight Mary. Look how long them are said, Jesus now come. But the Bible said, at the set appointed time, Mary bring forth. Look how long Sarah was barren. But the Bible said when the angel came and met with Sarah, he said, this time next year. You don't get that. You don't get that. God is involved with time. So, men of God, look how God works different from our calendar. God do not measure. Say, God don't measure. Time and season calendar. No. No, winter time. God don't base his timing for your life based upon a calendar. Can I break it down? You should say word me up. That's why when Isaac saw in famine, he didn't get that. Isaac saw in famine because according to the climax in the region, it was famine. He he sow in famine and reap in famine a hundredfold because he's not governed by the calendar and the system of the world. Yes. Let me tell you, oh God. Let me tell you, oh God. Introduce season and time for us. Let me tell you, oh God, see season man of God. Bible. Say word me up. Whenever God is ready to bring his people into a new season, you can confirm that you are a prophet. Whenever God is ready to bring his people into a new season, God look for a prophet. You don't know so excited. You don't excited. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. Uh, uh, you should say word new. God look for a prophet. And send the prophet to that region to make an announcement. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? He sent the prophet in the region to make the announcement. So when there was famine on the land, Elijah went to the region. <laughs> because there was famine in the land, God raised up Elijah and sent Elijah.